I've been waiting so long for this moment to sit here and tell you my thoughts on the Kokios Resurrection of Lelouch or Fukatsu no Lelouch, the return of Lelouch in movie format. And I could honestly say after all these, after seeing so many characters that I got familiarized after watching the original series, having so many feels, so many emotions going through me, I am so grateful that I, I watched the one and only trailer to this movie over a year ago, and not one of them included Lelouch. If there was, but I didn't check it out. I avoid the spoilers. I knew Lelouch was returning, so I just wanted to let that moment sink in after I watched the movie, and I am so grateful I did that. I'm so grateful I didn't get spoiled, because it, because it reintroduces why I love the series so much. So if you have not watched the movie, obviously there will be spoilers. So if you don't want to be spoiled, I suggest you, if you have not watched the movie yet, do yourself a favor and you're a fan of Code Geass, watch it. It's a complete masterpiece. Really, it's Lelouch's redemption arc. You can call it like his return, but it's his redemption arc, pretty much. I, I was completely wrong about his involvement in this. I thought he was going to appear in the end, like on some Yu-Gi-Oh type of deal from the movie. Dark Side of Dimensions, where... Atem or the Pharaoh came in at the end and cleaned up the damage, but that was it. His job was done. I thought that was going to be what happened with Lelouch, but no. But oh my gosh, yo. This has to be by far one of the best animated movies I have seen in a, in a while. I can't wait to what I can't wait to see One Piece Film Stampede, but this is up there with and I I love Full Metal Alchemist, The Conqueror Shambhala. That is one of my personal all-time favorite movies. Anime or just regular movies in general. But this was like up top five easily. I think this is actually technically the first time Code Geass has come out with a movie. It did not disappoint the animation. I mean, what more can you expect is a Code Geass project. It's Sunrise, they do they hit the mark. Obviously, I'm not gonna re recap the whole movie. If you've watched it, you know how it plays out. But I'm just gonna tell you the moments and the scenes that stick out to me the most when it comes to like the characters and holy crap. I did not expect Lelouch to be brought back into the picture so quickly. And not only that, like, his involvement, like, and it's not just the sake of him bringing him back, just, oh, for a cameo. No, it's for a great cause. And I love the message it spreads. So right off the bat, we actually get introduced to a conflict right off the bat. So we find out a year has passed since Lelouch's quote-unquote death, which you come to find out his body's still intact. But introduced to one of the first major characters being Colin, so that was pretty cool. He's like one of the maids at the bars. Anyway, we get introduced to the fact that Nunnally and Suzaku, aka Zero, negotiate a priest peace treaty or something. It gets in interrupted because the outside threat comes in with a but Suzaku gets to fight one of the main threats, Shalio, which is the brother of the main antagonist of the movie, and Ashley quickly defeats Suzaku, which is surprising, but then again he didn't have he didn't have Lancelot until the end, so there's a point where he predicts where Suzaku's going to attack from, so that's where he, that's where he counters from. And that's how he's able to outmaneuver Suzaku and capture him. And then only, so that's by C2. Which, oh man, did she get some spotlight in this movie? From a character, we see C2, and she's talking to, like, Shirley. And I'm like, the Shirley that we knew from the original series, that's pretty cool. Anyway, they're hiding out so they don't get discovered. We find out that she has somebody with them. We couldn't find out that's Lelouch. They did keep his appearance hidden for long because it just flies off in the wind so Lelouch with his blank stare comes back and I'm like what the I did not expect this so soon but I think the main issue is C2 was just looking for a way to get Lelouch to an underground temple so she can recover his memories so he can help deal with this threat being Shalio and Sh Princess Shaman to as a as a gear so we get introduced to that pretty quickly and i love the opening where we get visuals or we get see scenes from c2 just moving lush around not being able to do anything for himself because i guess he's, he's traumatized or he's just a lifeless stare he can he can talk and he can get scared but at the same time like he doesn't have his full memories back so you have c2 helping him around which is funny coincidentally enough a plot point that happens in season two with C2 with her memory is actually taken like she has some type of amnesia, but Lelouch is actually there take, taking care of her. So now the the roles are reversed, so I love that. And I guess the the news of Nunnally and Zero being captured which worldwide because Callan and company 
moved in quick, so there's a one part where Lelouch actually grabs a hold, I think it's a dumpling when I was trying to eat, but he's traumatized, he thinks he's holding, a, it looks like a heart, dripping blood, and then he just freaks the fuck out, he just freaks out, and then he actually hits C2 in the head, so uh, I guess PTSD is kicking in on Lelouch, and that's where you think, okay, now you can see where this is kind of going, then, oh man, there's, like I said, there's so many emotional scenes, so many impactful scenes, so this is the beginning of the feels because we have Carlin come in and she reunites with C2. Uh, by the way, I love how she calls C2 Pizza Girl, two of the best girls in the, in the series. So that was, that was pretty funny. Uh, she calls her Pizza Girl. We get a platoon and we find out there's a Gios user who's, I guess, able to like manipulate the illusions, kind of like Genjutsu. So that's pretty cool. So people want to make that. That connection with the Sharon Gun, you can do it in this movie because we had a user that can do that. So, but it doesn't affect C2, so right away she does get shot, but she comes back and, and it looks like they're going to be an escort for C2. But what really sticks out is this emotional scene because C2's like, We, we, man, you have to accompany us, but you, you kind of need to help him out too. And Colin sees the loosh, it kicks in, but when it does, you hit the fields, and she's like, uh, that got to me. It, the lot, there's a lot of moments that did that in this movie. The author of Kokias, they know how to suck you in. They know how to implement the feels. They did it in this movie full swing. So Colin sees Lelouch. She tears up because it's an emotional scene. It's a reunion. She thinks he's dead. When in reality, he's right in front of her. But his memories aren't recovered yet. And it does it, there's a brief collision with with C2 and Colin, but that was just a miscommunication, misunderstanding, not knowing who was behind the door, so, that, so I'm glad that got resolved pretty quickly, but Colin does get pissed because it's like, in this state, why would you bring him back like this? And C2's like, I have no other option, it's, the, it's for the betterment of everyone, so like I said, they get picked up, they go to the place where Suzaku is like, held captive, and the ladies, they infiltrate this scene is done for two reasons, like, they're undercover, so they can bust Su Suzaku out of there, on that part, is, like, to get Lelouch's memories back, so, they they kill two birds with one stone, and you can see where this is coming, All this is all coming together, and this is happening in the first 20 minutes, like, so I, I love how C2 and Colin are dressed identically to, like, infiltrate, they get discovered pretty quickly, but then, this is where things pick up because CC2 actually gets shot multiple times and it's like having some type of effect even though she's technically immortal. They're like teasing the blower up, but then all of a sudden, after the rituals perform, I heard that voice acting from Johnny Bosch kick in. Oh my gosh. And the music picks up, like, and then Lelouch is like, on the contrary, C2, you saved me yet again. Oh man, the goosebumps I got. And it's a similar scene that we saw at the very beginning of Code Geass episode one, where Lelouch helps is helped out by C2, he uses his Gears to like activate them to kill themselves, and it's poetic. Uh, I guess off screen they managed to save Sinzaku as well. So you have all these combustible elements, all these characters being implemented, reintroduced to Lelouch who's thinking he's dead. So the the emotion is already there. This is one of them that really got to be like when when Suzaku actually woke up and he's being turned to by C2 and Lelouch. These three came up with a plan to like make Zero a hero and, and Lelouch so he can maintain the peace for Nunnally, right? So these three two characters are coming together in the same room. Suzaku and Lelouch is talking to Suzaku casually like his, with his memories back. Suzaku's like having, he's kind of out of it. But then he's coming to him and he's like trying to touch his hair. But then he, the emotions kick in and then he just gets triggered. Like he just punches the hell out of Lelouch. Lelouch doesn't even try and fight back. He's like, what? how many times are you going to lie to me? Like I thought you were dead. You put us all through this pain not knowing what was going on. So that moment stick, stuck, stuck out to me. Like it's a, it's a powerful scene. Like. Like I said, there's three parts of this movie. The first was getting Lelouch's memories back. That was taken care of. The second was coming together and actually get taking down a much bigger threat. So, and this is another moment that stuck out to me. Like, so then Lelouch, seeking out help, he reunites with Cornelia, right? Long time no see, brother. Obviously hostility towards each other because of what happened to, because of what happened to Yuffie, obviously. 
but it does get resolved and this is a, another powerful scene that stands out to me like i said i'm not going to recap the whole movie i'm just telling you the moments that stick out to me the character traits are what make this series so unique and so great and i appreciate this a lot because lush takes his helmet off he's like i can't do this without you i can't do this alone there's a scene where suzaku and colin actually smile because this is loose admitting his weakness he tried to do everything himself without actually saying it but he failed he can't do this himself cornelia accepts because they want to get normally back right that's the treaty they're coming to, they're coming together are past enemies i love that message so much because i'm going to tell you why it sticks out to me the most so cornelia is joining forces with lelouch colin and suzaku at this point i already got goosebumps right so at this point what the are you, are you kidding me? Colin, I love how it's Colin like, this calls for a celebration, so let's, let's just party it up. Like, it's, this, is a big, this is a big moment because it's like, and Lelouch does say, I will never betray you again, Cornelia. So that was pretty powerful too. But there's, this is one of the moments that really stick out to me from an emotional standpoint, right? Because we have Lelouch and Suzaku. Suzaku catches up with Lelouch on top of a tower, talking about Lelouch's fate because he's like, I came back for this one last mission, like to take down this threat. So after today, I'm I'm done. I don't know what's going to happen. So you're going to have to take the the reins as zero. Suzaku's like you're getting emotional because like you don't you don't play with me like that. You just come back and now you're like thinking about disappearing again. The entire movie. This is going to be the farewell for the Lelouch. Like he's going out with, the, with this huge redemption arc. Like all the people he's wronged in the, in the hopes of trying to create a better life and none only he messed up but now his is this is his chance to redeem himself for that so i love that and suzaku is like one of those characters that he tries to like make up amends with from a legit standpoint like no no messing around no lying and it's a, it's a very small scene right where, where lelouch has been shown what 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 life was out without lelouch and suzaku says it's kind of boring and there's another moment too uh, where you have at this particular point, at the bottom of the tower, you have C2 and Colin, who is, I guess he's dropping on this conversation. So these are the four characters that characters that really touch people's hearts when it comes to Code Geass. When you think of Code Geass, do you think of these four characters? Another moment at that party scene where Colin and C2 are talking about Lelouch. It's like, yes, C2 is like, if you have something to say with Lelouch, you better say it now because you might not get another chance tomorrow. Like, it sucks we never got that moment because it's obvious she wanted to implement her feelings for for Lelouch, I think, but we never got that moment. We did get that moment with C2, and, and Colin actually flips it around. It's like, what about you? How do you feel about this? Because you might not get another chance as well, being because you're a mortal. To so the final phase, this is group shot, right? And I love this. you got the Black Knights so, with Cornelia and her forces and Zero. So we find out what Princess shot. Charmina, as I guess her goal is, she, she has the power of Gias, which we should have figured out initially when we saw her in the trailer, right? But her, her powers are like she can she can reverse time from six hours after she kills herself. So it's, there's multiple scenes where she does that. But she needs not only to enhance her power, so become like a godlike figure, like a god type power, like C2. We don't get to know her mo motivation, right? So immediately Lelouch is coming in. With the forces, Colin and you knew Suzaku were gonna, they were going to get their chance to shine. Even Cornelia got a chance to shine in this movie, so that was pretty cool. Reuniting with Lelouch or, Z or Zero. There's this one part where that's a, a proverbial chess match because to understand each other's abilities, like not knowing what the other can do. I love that back and forth because it brings so much, it brings so much intrigue into Code Geass. It's one of the main reasons why it's successful because it implements so much strategy it's, it has the same thing with death note which is why it gets compared a lot but at least the main characters do right she reverts time from six hours in order to anticipate how the black knights are going to attack like the forces are going to attack from a lucia standpoint so she's seen this coming so she goes back in time better prepared for it but there has to be a weakness right so she can revert time kind of like Whis come from dragon ball super i guess the tides have turned because they know what's ahead, so they could they counteract all the key members of the Black Knights. Cornelia's kind of like cornered, 
head falls the corner, so it's becoming a bad situation. You have Ka Colin and Suzaku on the verge of like death because they don't know how those have been scouted and they don't know how. Lelouch doesn't know how. It's like, what the hell's going on here? How could we be anticipated this much? He's freaking out. And there's a point, this is another moment that stick up, sticks out to me the most, probably one of the most impactful of the movie, where we have C2 and Lelouch. I guess Lelouch has been bad, right? So he jumps into the same armor as C2. We've seen this before, but he's at his breaking point because he doesn't know how to rescue, rescue Nunnally. He doesn't know how to rescue Colin and Suzaku. And he's a, there's a point where he's about to say, I surrender, but C2 says, you're going to surrender? She points the gun at his head as a pack talk, like, What's what's going on with you? I didn't bring you back for this. I didn't want this Lelouch. I want the egotistical self-serving Lelouch that doesn't give a crap, who doesn't give up, who need. So I I love that because it implements so much trust she has in Lelouch. It's like you can do this. Like you just need to get your head in the game. It does take him a while, but that's the pep talk he needs. I'm gonna ki kills herself to like reverse time so they can counteract Lelouch. But at the same time, it's Lelouch's way of scouting what her abilities are and c2 is the only one who can't get affected by this right what happens we just see him at the same place that happened before time got reversed for the first time we have a scene where cornelia is like oh i knew my brother could do this because he doesn't give up it's him we're talking about he doesn't give up so i like that moment for him uh, as well like i said so many side characters got a chance to shine from a character standpoint it's crazy i don't know what to expect when we get one piece film stampede given that high regard, but I can't wait to find out. This was like, oh man, it's coming together. You can, you can feel the hype coming. Finally, find out what her motivation is. Like she wants to attain a high power. And there's a scene where she asks Lelouch, "Did you? Don't you want to be able to turn back time to like rewrite the wrongs and clear your name of being a cr branded a criminal?" And Lelouch is like, "No, this is not my world to change. It's everyone's. Your, not just yours, not just mine." So C2 there is a powerful statement from Lelouch, like, no, this is not my dream. I, this is not what I want. I'm here to correct the mistake, to put a stop to this, to create a better life for my system, for everybody. So that shows growth on the part of Lelouch. And C2 go to the realm. C2, like, granted Shaman's, Shaman's request, and she, know, she knows she messed up. It's so ironic what she wanted to do. She wanted... She wanted to help our homeland by obtaining a great power, right? She just got misguided, and because of this, she, she realized the burden she placed on her brother, who had to go through so much. There's a redemption. Like I said, this is a redemption arc for a lot of characters. Even the villains get a redemption. Suzaku going on. So obviously, Suzaku, you knew he's going to be gearing the, the lance a lot. I got so many goosebumps when that happened, going up against Shalio. The final fight and and Suzaku's like, you're gonna have to atone for this. You know what it's like, but Shalio realizes his sister, she's pretty much done. What can I do? It's like, help me out here. I don't have the power. I need the power to fight this. But it's like, look at the burn I placed on the people that have been helping me out. So he realizes his mess up. He dies. The it explodes. So there's a the brief scene where we get Nunley. Waking up and seeing Lelouch, we don't get to see what they say. She's like, there's something I want to tell you, but we don't wait until the very end of the movie to find out what that is. Black ball that just explodes, and it causes, a, a, I guess, a meteor shot shower throughout the world. And by that point, everything's been resolved. You have, like, Top Soldier underneath Shamana, who's pretty much obedient. He's, he's like, fighting Cornelia, right? And he's, like, ordering the his underlings to like shoot and kill them both. Cornelia's like, you need to stop that because it's over. You're the only one who could command them. It's over, it gets resolved. Is what was Lelouch and Suzaku's goal? Suzaku wanted to become a member of the Suzaku wanted to become a member of Britannia because he wanted because he was even though he's Japanese, right? He wanted to change it from the inside out and put it change to the world for the better. Lelouch wanted to create a better life with his power for a better life for none of me. But if you technically think about it, both these two efforts and combined with everyone coming together made this dream a reality. That meter shower strikes into me. I don't know why. I just think it's the realization of, oh my God, like the whole journey for Kogias has been for this dream to become pretty much 
unite the world so there's no discrimination. It looks like that's been achieved as you see that like, all these characters looking at this this site and it just sticks out to me the most out of any scene in the movie. A cabin where Lelouch and Nunnally are at and Lelouch, I guess he's saying his farewells because he knows he doesn't know what's going to happen next so he's like Suzaku, I'm going to leave Zero with you just like how I left it last time. Nunnally who has, didn't get much dialogue until the very end, she says, I regret the fact that you had to face this burden, brother, all alone, to give me a better life. You as well. And there's a scene where Lelouch is getting, starting to get choked up. He's like, no, I, that's kind of you, but I'm out, I'm out. I'm, he realizes he's going to cause trouble. He doesn't want that. And he does, by the end, tell C2, not only could take care of herself, because so she, she's, she's a strong, independent woman. I love that scene so much. Conclusion to that journey that Lucius has been on throughout the beginning of the series, coming to an end, he's done his job, so pretty much, so he doesn't need to do anything else. Suzaku's there, that's, that's cool. We've got a scene with Colin and C2. It's kind of like antisocial between the two, but you know it's kind of respectful. But it's like, C2's like, she's going to leave without Lelouch, because I, I, obviously she wants to go out and discover Shaman's remnants of the uh, Gios to pinpoint what's next, I guess. Oh, emotional scene that everybody when it came at the end with C2 and Lelouch. Lelouch chasing after C2, saying, don't go yet, you're just going to leave without saying goodbye after you brought me back here. And Lelouch calling her, you're, you're a cold woman, you're a cold creature, right? And C2's like, yep, you're right. But you, get, you can kind of get where Lelouch is coming from. He's trying to confess his feelings by actually saying, I love you. I think that's what we're getting. Call myself Lelouch, I'll call me L2 in obviously a reference to C2. Mummy kicks into C2, she tears up and she has this cute, adorable expression I want to see more from when it comes to this series. Holy crap, that, that also got me choked up. And I don't get emotional very often when it comes to like stuff like this. But that's pretty much the end of the movie. I do like the ending where the visuals we had of other all these scenes with Colin, with Cornelia keeping a peace treaty. It's the coming together forces, so there's no dispute anymore. You have Shirley tearing up, so I don't know why that moment also sticks out. I think it's, she tears up, but I'm wondering if she knew about Lelouch. That kind of sucks we never got to see that either, because I think that would have been kind of cool, but I, you can't have everything, right? What I thought about the movie as a whole, a complete masterpiece. It's well done. It's a redemption arc that we never got in the series that was well done for this movie which is only an hour, an, hour, an hour and a half, which is crazy, right? By the way, I, I gotta say, the after the credits where we see Lelouch and C2, like, threaten people who have, it looks like Gios, like, we're gonna stop you. I, by the way, that outfit that C2 was wearing, A+. plus. There's also the animation. The music was on point. It had every feels. You have, like, the music from the original series as well kick in. So it's just a great movie. Great experience. And most, there's so many emotional moments. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. If you check this movie out, I suggest you do if you haven't, if you're a fan of Code Gears. So that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like this review if you did. Subscribe channel for more. Catch you guys later. Thanks, guys. Bye.